Is this real or am I dreaming? Winter is early this year. It's only December and it's already snowing. Have I really been living with my parents, Mika and Pierrette? I feel like a juvenile stuck in an old man's body. It does feel like I'm dreaming, kind of like a nightmare. I'm relegated to the back seat here. The radio is on too loud. The seatbelt alarm is nagging on. And they're arguing loudly about something petty. Old people behavior. It's cute and funny in small doses. But is this real? Today we're driving to the physiotherapist and then to the hospital for their third COVID shot. Okay, this is not a dream. And this has been an eye-awakening experience. I had a prescription for four visits and they've been great. I'm making steady progress. After getting the muscles around my wound massaged, I was led to go for a ride. This is amazing. I didn't know if I would ever be able to ride a bike again. And I cruised the gym for two kilometers in 10 minutes. Boy, was I sore the next day. We had an hour to pass, so Mike took us to a local new restaurant. Apparently, this is a Swiss version of a fast food gourmet burger joint. <laughs> We're at a place called Holy Cow. Having uh, lunch after we went to the physiotherapist, and Mike and Pierrette are going to have uh, their third booster shots of COVID flow. And then later, I'm getting my stitches out. But first, let's munch on these burgers. Look great. Check out these fries with the skins on them. And next, at the hospital for my parents' COVID booster shot. They kept trying to force me into it too, but it was only for people 65 and over. And six months after your second shot. I still had three months to go, I argued. I'll do it in Africa when the time comes, darn it. What was important for me was getting my staples out, not another COVID bullshot. And oh, what a relief it was. Remember I met a friend at the recycling center who wanted to go to dinner with me? Well, after a copious dinner, we went to his cellar for one last drink. And look at this place. Thanks, Andre. And once you're in a neighborhood, man, word gets out and other friends invite you. Like my dear Carlos here. Inez, Inez. <laughs> he and I go way back. <laughs> the snow kept on falling in the plains and up in the mountains. And that means that Switzerland's favorite pastime gets kicking. <laughs> Our national heroes blast down slopes at over 100 kilometers an hour, trying to edge out Austrians or French and Italians by a hundredth of a second. And sometimes, one of our guys or gals does it. I'm thinking about skiing again. I used to compete in downhill racing too. I could do that uh, almost. But no, I won't be skiing this season as much as I would love to. I don't need to tell you how beautiful everything was, so let's not.
is a giant store, like a Home Depot here. It's really cool. So much stuff. And just, I could use some new. I could use some new drill bits. Got some tapes and stuff like that that I can't find. Wow, what a change here, huh? A little tiny Switzerland get huge store like this. Drill bits. And look at this, the eight millimeter ratchet. One of the Danes borrowed mine and dropped it in the ocean. That's the one for the carburetor, the most popular one. Well, I got one back now. And I may get one of each of these, if the budget allows. Okay. A few days later, I took a ride to town with my brother. It was nice to get out from my mom and dad's place. When we got into the main train, I got this violent urge to tell these two friggin' pricks to move their box so people could sit. I was so pissed off, I pictured myself punching the dude fake sleeping. And I'm not a violent person, I hate confrontation. Luckily for those two dicks, we only traveled one quick stop. And later, we were with family, including Steph's Latino family. Okay. Having traditional Swiss food again today, tonight, cheese fondue. Mika made his uh, cheese pie, and we're here with all of uh, my brother's family. Entonces, Marlena, ¿te gusta la fondue? Sí, un poquito. ¿Qué? Have fun okay, today I'm going on a little excursion. I've decided to walk up to my brother's place. He lives up the hill up here. And I thought, uh, I want to go back and hang out with him and stay with him because it's cool. I have a good time with him. But I said to him and to myself that I would not go and hang out at his place until I could walk there. So today I'm taking the initiative to walk up there. It's about... 500 meters, it's up there. There's a bit of snow, so I'll have to be careful. If it's too icy or snowy, I'll turn around. I don't want to bust my hip on uh, some stupid accident. But anyways, this is it. public transportation system here in Switzerland. The little trains are like uh, mountain subways or something. Super modern, super cool, clean. Wow, this is steep. Steep but good. Good for the legs, man. It's what one of my sons does now. He's a musician, but now he's a Postal delivery guy. It's really cool. He's got a nice little truck like that. And look at where he's delivering mail. Is this awesome or what? Wow. Look at this place. Absolutely stunning. Oh, nice. Good for the leg. A little hard. It's good. About halfway up to my brother's house. His house is up there in the woods, kind of kind of hidden away. My parents are just a little further down below. But look at this, man. Wow. Yeah. The other thing that feels nice, man, is the sun. I feel like I haven't had any sunlight for the past four weeks or so. Ah, so nice. Okay. Now here's the only tricky spot. Normally you can walk up here, but I didn't go walking up here because I don't have proper snowshoes. I just have freaking boat shoes. Now I can go up here. I should be able to make it. But like I said, I don't have proper snowshoes. Or I could go around this way 
There, I don't need snowshoes. Hmm. What shall it be? What shall it be? I made it up here. This was a breeze. But terrible snowshoes, great snow knowledge. Hey, I'm from here, man. I know how the snow behaves. I know whether I slip or not. All right, just a little further down and I'm over at my brother's house, just down here. I made it up to my brother's house. Let's see what's going on down there. But again, is this reality or am I dreaming? It was great to have you along on this voyage. If you enjoyed your trip, give us a like and subscribe. You'll really help us navigate better. Me and my boat Gallopin promise you a good time every Wednesday. So welcome aboard. Mm -hmm.